The Magic Book Cake, Part 5 The youngest son was hungry and tired, so he thanked the fairy and went into the next room to eat and rest. There was food on the table in the place where he could sleep. Through the windows, he could see the sky and it was beautiful. He lay down and stared at it for several hours. The fairies walked all day and into the evening. Stars came out in the sky and shone through the crystal glass windows. At last, the youngest son's eyes closed and fell asleep. Night came. The hundred fairies finished their work. Now there were a hundred copies of the arcade. One by one, the fairies left the room. But one fairy did not leave. It was the fairy in the red dress. She did not want to leave the bouquet. Then suddenly she thought of something. She had an idea. Quietly and carefully, she added a picture of her herself to the bouquet. She wove herself, standing under a little tree in the garden. Now I am a part of the bouquet, she said. So the bouquet and I will always be together. When morning came, the youngest son woke up. He was not tired anymore. He felt good and alive. So he went into the hall and got his mother's bouquet. The fairy in the red dress also woke up early. You are taking it away now, aren't you? She said. Yes, he replied. Please thank your mother. She said, tell her that we have made a hundred copies. I will, said the youngest son. He looked at the fairy. She was so beautiful. He wanted to stay and talk to her. He wanted to go out onto the mountain with her and walk in the sunshine. But he had to go. His mother was waiting. He had, he had to go home. His mother was waiting. She saw her son and ran out to meet him. She knew that he had the brocade. And then the strangest thing happened. When he opened the bouquet to show his mother, the bouquet began to get bigger. A little wind came from somewhere and pulled at the bouquet. And the bouquet got bigger and bigger. And then suddenly everything came to life. The house and the garden became real. With the little white and gold house, the beautiful garden full of flowers and trees, they are real. The mother and their youngest son stood there. They stood there in the garden. All around them were flowers 
and then the youngest son saw someone. It was the fairy, the beautiful fairy in the red dress. She was standing under a tree, little tree, and so it was real. It was all real. The house, the flowers, the fairy, everything. The youngest son married the beautiful fairy, and they all lived happily together in the white and gold house. The woman no longer wove. Bouquets. Instead, she spent all her time growing flowers in the beautiful garden. Then one day, two men came down the road. It was the two older brothers. All their money was going and gone, and there they were poor and had nowhere to go. They were sorry for spending the coins and leaving their mother. Brothers, cried the youngest son. Look, look at our beautiful new house. Isn't it wonderful? Brothers, come home. The end. Thank you for watching. Then bottom again.